Give me fuel, give me fire, give me double shot as Welcome to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the revolting 400. With 10 races to go, we first stop at Atlanta Motor Speedway for the fictional Piston Cup playoffs to see who will advance to the next round and beyond at one of the fastest 1.5 mile tracks. Here are the playoff standings. So we have 10 racers trying to see who is the two weakest among them. With that out of the way, let's take a look at our starting grid. In row one, Ryan Laney in his third pole start in Cal Wetters, one of the 10 championship contenders and last week's winner at Darlington Raceway. In row two, Cruz Ramirez and JD McPillar. In row three, Bobby Swift and Phil Tankson. In row four, Brandon Powercar in a missed opportunity to win and join the playoffs and Jackson Storm starting in eighth place. In row 9, Bubble Wheelhouse and the defending winner, Master Dragon 4000, trying to sweep both Atlanta races. In row 6, Daniel Suarez and H.J. Hollis. In row 7, Colin Bargain and Light McQueen, the regular season champion. In row 8, Brian Spark and the Homestay Racer Chase Racelot from Donsonville, Georgia. And starting in row 9 is Steve LePage, the Spring Talladega winner. Here's the race format, 13 laps, 20 miles around the 1.54 mile super speedway track. So we changed the racing package from the last time we were here and pit road speed is 45 miles per hour. Alright, before this race starts, the scoring board will show who is in the playoffs and who is not in. So the ones highlighted in blue are in the playoffs, so they're going to be championship contenders if they advance to the next round. And the ones in white are just standard racers. The pace car is off to the pits. Meanwhile, it's a packed crowd here at Atlanta Martyr Speedway. Meanwhile, Ryan Laney and Cal Wetters leads everybody to the green flag and the revolting 400 is underway. Here's the scoring board. Everything else is just normal. Like the race name and the amount of laps. Ryan Laney already the lead. That's a great start for him. Bruce Ramirez charging up to the front. She is trying to She is trying to win on like the last time she was here at in February, where she lost to Master Dragon 4000, meanwhile Ryan Laney leads the first lap of the Revolting 400. Bruce Ramirez up to the front along with JD McPillar, another championship contender. Bruce Ramirez is looking fast right now. Along with JD McPillar and Ryan Laney. Bruce Ramirez only has one win of the 2024 season, which was the Brickyard 400 at Indianapolis Murder Speedway. Bruce is trying to look that for that second win of the 2024 season, so she will to contend for a championship and to stay alive. Hmm, the outside line is mostly packed in the inside. Meanwhile, Bruce Ramirez and Jay McPillar are leading the field. This is going to mostly be a cat and mouse game for the Super Speedway package. Unlike in the, the February where we were racing with the intermediate package, the, the, the Super Speedway package is mostly restricted. So lower horsepower, higher aerodynamics, and the, the more 3-4 to four wide racing. Jay McKillar has not won a race in a long time. He has not won since June at Iowa Speedway. Bruce Ramirez leads lap 4 and now we head into lap 5. Here's a look at the February winner, Master Dragon 4000. Currently right now in 5th place, trying to pass the number 20 in Jackson Storm. And getting help from the number 28 of Phil Tankson. 
It's still a cat and mouse game for the number 51 and 4 of JD McPillar. Here they come from turn 4 and now into the front straightway. Now we're in the lap 6. Cruz Ramirez is still strong out there. Meanwhile, JD McPillar trying to pass that number 51. Now get ready for the halfway jam. Seven laps to go here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. We have a new leader, which is Jay McPillar. Still trying to hold up against number 51 at Cruz Ramirez. Now he's going to lead with six laps to go here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Side by side for the lead. Cruz Ramirez trying to get back first place. Now here she goes from the outside. Looks like she shot out of a cannon. Now she's up in the lead. Now side by side against number four. Nope. Here's a look at the playoff bubble. Colin Bargain right now is sitting in last place. There's a high chance that he must win the next two races, otherwise he will be terminated from the playoffs. Here we go with five laps to go here at Atlanta Martyr Speedway. Cruz Ramirez in the lead. Still trying to play that cat and mouse game against the number four, J.D. McPillar. Here's the leaderboard, Cruz Ramirez in first place, meanwhile second is Jay McPillar, third MD4000, fourth Bobby Swift, fifth Lightning McQueen, and sixth Cal Weathers. So Lightning McQueen is looking hot out there. Four laps to go here at Atlanta Motor Speedway, still a cat and mouse game for the 4 and the 51. Here's a look at Cal Weathers. The last time he was at this track, he slammed the wall and lost a lot of race positions. Colin Bargain is having the worst car out there, as you can see from the pack. Bruce Ramirez versus Shane McPillar for the race win. Three laps to go here at Atlanta Murder Speedway. The last time Bruce was here, she lost to the rookie of Master Dragon 4000. Now Jay McPillar drafting with the number 51 behind her. Dalla is trying to side draft and pass. Two laps to go here at Atlanta Motor Speedway for the revolting 400. Cruz Ramirez trying to defend that race win. She's going to try to play some tricks against the number 4. Now here they go entering turn 4. Hopefully it's one of those exciting Atlanta finishes like in the spring. Here we go, white flag is out. One more time around here at Atlanta Motor Speedway. Jay McPillar trying to pass the number 51 of Cruz Ramirez. Jay McPillar trying to look for a way to pass the number 51. Now entering turn 3 and going to enter turn 4 for the final time. Rosa Ramirez will punch her ticket to the next round of the playoffs. Now there's that checkered flag and she wins the revolting 400. Congratulations to Cruz Ramirez for winning the revolting 400 and advancing to the round of 8 of the playoffs. A heartbreaker for the number 41 of Master Dragon 4000 trying to sweep this race. Along with the 4J McPillar trying to win this race. Trying to but well, McGiff SHR's last Atlanta race since they're going out of business.
Here are the official results. J.D. McPillar is the fastest car of the day. Here's a look at the playoff standings after this race. Since Cruz Ramirez won this race, she is locked into the next round. Meanwhile, Bubba Wheelhouse and Colin Bargain are below the cutoff line, so if they don't score up top 5 or win, they will be eliminated. Next week, we are racing at Watkins Glen, New York for the Octane Gang at the Glen 355 starting next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern and 3 p.m. Pacific. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This is the Candy Cat Her 27, signing out.